what is up youtube it is tati here and i am back with another youtube video now in today's video guys we are going to be doing some passion twists but i'm actually going to try something new today now i don't know if this method is new but i've been seeing people wrap around their twist and i'm just like how do i do this and i found a video on like um someone doing it and so i decided to try it on her hair today and so this is how it turned out so i'm going to show you guys how i did that so right here I'm just starting off with my regular parting and pre-parting routine just so that I can get the parts out of the way and they can be nice and crispy and even. The hair products that I'm using today is Shine and Jam in the orange box or the orange container and also Edge Booster for her edges. Now I just want to stop and thank you guys so, so, so much for the support that I've been getting on this channel y'all have no idea how excited how happy and how shocked i was to get 100k views on that youtube video of the medium knotless box break so thank you guys so much for tuning into that video and all the other videos that i posted and i hope to grow with you guys some more so yeah So I did start on a few twists just to get the hang of it. So I think I got it down. So what I did is I just started off with a regular plait. You can also use rubber bands too, but I know that some people don't like rubber bands because it causes buildup. So depending on how long you want to wear the style, I would prefer rubber bands just because I noticed that that braid starts to poke out of the twist. So you guys will see what I'm talking about a little later, but yeah. Now what I'm doing is I'm just taking my passion twist hair. I can put the link down in the description box below the type of hair that I'm using. So I'm using three strands and the key to getting that consistency of the twist is you have to make sure that all three of your curls are going in the same direction and then you want to spread those curls out. So now I'm going to take my crochet needle and then I'm going to put my passion twist hair through the braid. As you can see, I'm gonna kind of start adjusting it and I'm adjusting it so that that crease that is at the top of the passion twist hair is in between the center of the actual plait. So then I'm gonna take a small piece from the right side of the passion twist hair and then I'm going to start to wrap around the braid. And I'm wrapping around about three or four times. Once I am done wrapping, I'm going to put the hair that I just wrapped to the side and make sure I have my right section separated and my left section separated. Then I'm gonna take the hair I just wrapped and add it to my right section. That way I have my right and left section separated and ready to twist. Now y'all, that is so hard to explain through a voiceover. However, I did make a second YouTube video that I just uploaded on how to do a Senegalese rope or passion twist or whatever you like to call them. And I showed how to do it in three different methods. So this method is definitely in here. And if you want to get like a more in-depth tutorial, non-voiceover, just raw, almost as if it was a one-on-one -on -one tutorial, then make sure you guys go check that video out. And then I highly recommend you guys come back to this video and you guys will completely understand how to get this method down. Now I'm not gonna lie y'all, this method is definitely pretty time consuming. However, I really think that I'll be able to get the hang of it and get faster at it the more I'll do it and the more I practice. So I'm definitely gonna be working on that. I do prefer this method over any other method in doing any type of twist because I just feel like it'll last a lot more longer being that passion twist here is very slippery and very dense. So when I did do passion twist in the past, I had to take that off my service because y'all people were complaining about them slipping out and I was just so tired of that. So I feel like I can put it back on my service now with this method because it'll just last a lot more longer. So that is definitely a pro about this method.
But that is all for this voiceover, guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video, and I really hope you guys enjoy it. I'm not leaving you guys hanging too much. The rest of the video is going to be slow enough for you guys to follow along. But don't forget to check out the next YouTube video that I just uploaded if you want to get a more in-depth tutorial on how to do this method and both of the other two methods. And yeah, if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you don't miss any more hair videos. And I will see you guys in my next YouTube video.